Good morning, Hopkinton Middle School, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, James Muzzy. Today we'll hear fun facts from Mr. Rockwood. We'll find out what you had to say for the question of the day, and you'll have a new picture from Have You Seen This? But first, I want to let everyone know that the 8th grade concert is Monday night. Band members should arrive at 6.15 p.m., and the chorus and orchestra should arrive at 6.30 p.m. Students should be wearing all black. And now we have Mr. Keller for a Minute with the Principal. Thank you, and welcome to Minute with the Principal. This past week, grades 6 and 7 performed wonderfully at their spring concerts. Congratulations to all of the students, as well as Mr. Dodge, Ms. McDonald, Ms. O'Toole, Mr. Purdy, Ms. Conant, and Mr. Hay. We look forward to grade 8's concert on Monday. March Madness brought out some great talent, competition, and sportsmanship. Congratulations to the winners at each grade level and to all the teams who participated. Last Friday's talent show was outstanding, speaking of talent. Congratulations to all those who performed and to all of you who are here representing a great audience that appreciated all of their efforts. Next up is our staff talent show. We'll see if staff has talent that can measure up to our students. Thank you very much, Mr. Keller. And just so you know, Spirit Week is coming up next week, and Student Council hopes that everyone will join in. Monday is Pajama Day, Th Tuesday is Hippies and 70s Day, and Wednesday is the USA Day, so come dressed in your red, white, and blue. Thursday is Healer Spirit Day, so show your school and St. Patrick's Day spirit by wearing green and on Friday 6th and 7th grade go black out while 8th graders stay cool with a white out. Okay that's enough from me for now. Now we want to hear from you. For another question of the day we asked what's the best and worst thing about being your age? Well honestly the best thing about being my age is that well you don't have to you're kind of on your own and the Worst thing about being your age is you're on your own. So the best thing about being my age is that I don't have to ask my mother's permission to do anything, and I can watch PG-13 movies. The worst thing about being this age is all the aches and pains. Not having to vote for Donald Trump. The worst thing about being my age is having to pick between Zane or One Direction. The best thing about being my age is that I can live on my own, and the worst thing about being my age is that I can live on my own. <laughs> I'll be 61 on March 10th, and the best thing about being my age is all of the experience that, that I've had, and the worst thing of being my age is my bones and joints are giving out. The best thing is that I'm old enough to have as many dogs as I want, and the worst is that my students are actually taller than me now. The best thing about being my age is everything. The best thing about being Mrs. Daniel's age is you get the senior citizen discount at the movies! The best thing about being 18 is that you have a lot of freedom. The worst thing is, well, this is also a good thing, but you have a lot of responsibility and you have a lot of things you have to look after and take care of. The best thing about being a teenager is having your parents think you're mental and then, and then having them think you're mental. Yeah, that's, that's the best thing. So, like, you can get away with doing stuff. You don't have a credit card to buy Taco Bell. The best part about being my age is that I'm a teenager now. Yay! You can't watch PG movies. Responsibility. The best thing of being my age it would be being tall. Less restrictions of playing video games. The worst thing about being our age is probably doing homework. And the best thing is getting free stuff. The best thing is listening to Take 4 at the talent show, and the worst thing is all the homework. The best is having a phone. The worst is going to school. The best thing about being 13 is that you grow taller. Not for everyone. The worst thing about being our age is all the homework. <laughs> you can eat whatever you want. The worst thing is that yeah, you can't drive. Having an iPhone, and the worst thing is being treated as if I was four. The best thing, the dab. The worst thing, Hillary Clinton. The best thing about being our age is dabbing it up. The worst thing is stool. <laughs> the best thing is not having to pay the bills. 
Thanks, everyone, for all of your answers. Just a reminder to seventh graders who signed up for Ignite, interviews will take place on March 21st after school. You must see Mr. Carney to sign up for your interview by March 15th. And do you want to make a movie that matters? Want to help define the mission statement for our school? Then check out your email and Friday Flyer to read all the details about creating an 11 second video on we video that expresses what a strong mind and or a kind heart means to you as a student here at hms this is your chance to make a difference and speaking of making a difference there is our 25 days left until the desire to inspire challenge start training now and to make it a goal come true okay next up is mr rockwood for fun fact friday Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Today we're going to be out of this world. Did you know that the second man to walk on the lunar surface was Buzz Aldrin? His mother's maiden name is Moon. Once in a blue moon means almost never. Many moons ago means a long time period. And I'm sure that today you are over the moon because you are extremely pleased and happy that it's the end of the school week. A great fact, as always, Mr. Rockwood. And now we just have a couple more announcements. Eight grade students do not need override forms for scheduling high school courses yet. Parents and students will be contacted if an override form is not required. Re recently, several pieces of jewelry were turned into the main office. If you think one of these is yours, please come to the main office to check with Mrs. Balboa or Mrs. McBride. The community team Pennies for Patients fundraiser will run until the end of the month. The homeroom that with the most donations will receive lunch courtesy of Olive Garden in those pennies. Come one, come all. Come and watch your teachers perform comedy, music, skits, and much, much more at Staff Talent Show on April 1st at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Monday, March 14th is a day eight. And now, last but not least, we have the answer for our last Have You Seen This? The picture was of the respect banner near the gym. Congratulations to Liam Cohen, Danny Villani, Alexis Manchester, and Audrey Clayton for finding stop for finding it. Stop by the office after school for your prize. Now here's a new picture for you. If you know where it is, send us an email to hmstv at hillers.org and you could be our next winner. That's all for this week middle school for HMS Today. I'm James Muzzy. Now get out there and study hard.